up YouTube, Tila Sean here back with another video for you guys. And today, this video is specifically for high schoolers or even middle schoolers who want to start extremely early with getting college scholarships. So, in this video, I will be helping you guys with tips and tricks on how to get college scholarships. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, share this video to your friends if they're looking for ways to get money to pay for college so since i am in college i was like why not why am i holding down this information why not tell other people how to do this because in my alcorn state video i did say that i got two point something million dollars in scholarship and i said it was very easy to do but i didn't go into detail so now in this video i will go into detail of how i got that money and how you can get that money as well so let's get into this video okay so i did write some notes down so i don't forget anything hopefully i don't forget anything and then edit this video and be like oh i forgot to say that first i want to talk about getting into college first you need to know your academic limits don't apply to like a Ivy League college if you know your ACC doesn't correlate with the school because then you just get an automatic decline like I said know your academic limits GPA is a factor that helps but ACT is what really helps you um, get into colleges and also get scholarships but GPAs will hold you back from getting scholarships as well so while I'm talking about ACT and GPA, ACT, if your ACT is lower than a, I would say 20, it's going to be very hard for you to get, if you get scholarships, it will be very hard for you to get scholarships. Mostly you have to get outside scholarships from organizations or volunteer work or something like that, which I will get into later talking about outside scholarships. But if your ACT is 20 or higher, then you have a better chance of getting scholarships. I would really recommend a 23 or higher. A 20 is kind of hard as well. So if you do have a low ACT score, I do recommend taking it again and again and again. And also study or go through the book. I heard it's useful. Um, also, they have websites that can help you with ACT. So that's an option. Now into GPA. Like I said, your GPA can hold you back from getting scholarships. Like when I said that some colleges have like an ACT requirement and then also a GPA requirement. So if your ACT is high, like if your ACT is a 27, but your GPA is a 2.5, then you probably wouldn't even qualify for any scholarships. Maybe if you talk to a, a an admissions counselor, they might get you a scholarship because your ACT is so high, but if your GPA is low, then it's gonna be pretty hard for you to get scholarship money. So. Also, you need to be organized, you guys, when you get scholarships. So my school actually made me get a binder and put all of my admissions letters and scholarship money all into this one binder. Now, this is not all the schools that I have um, been accepted to or all the scholarships, but it is a lot, a lot, a lot. Like I said, it accumulated to two point something, two point three million dollars in scholarships. Mostly this is automatic scholarships, which I will get into later. So get you a binder. Also make a spreadsheet with your admissions decision and your scholarship money and where how far it is from you and all that. Make a spreadsheet. I did that as well. So it automatically counted all of my scholarship money it'll make your life so much easier and also if you apply to a lot of colleges they will be calling you and be like hey i heard you were interested you apply blah blah just so you don't get confused with all all these other colleges that spreadsheet will help out because you'll be like okay this is this college let me go to this while they're on the phone i've literally i've done this before they call me and i'll be like okay this is this school let me type it in real quick like oh yeah i applied to you when in reality you don't even remember replying to them like that happened to me before oh um and i'm not saying you should apply to a lot of colleges because i know some schools don't help you with the application process or they don't pay for it so you will have to pay to apply for colleges i didn't have to pay for any college that i applied to i did not pay for one so here's a tip if when you take the act you um have a voucher or you don't pay for the act you get the ac for free then you can fill out this thing and you can apply for a college for free. So 
that's one thing or I think it's like if you get I don't know if this is just for my county but like if you get free lunch then also you can apply for college for free I don't know how another you just have to ask your school your high school counselor don't settle for an automatic scholarship so you apply for a college based off your GPA in ACT they're gonna automatically send you whatever scholarship you qualify for they're gonna automatically send it to you that's what this uh my binder is full of automatic scholarships so don't settle for just that even if it is a full ride go apply for outside scholarships outside scholarships um like for volunteering um some organization i know i got an outside scholarship from delta sigma theta sorority the memphis chapter um they gave me a thousand dollars also as your parents do their work provide scholarships because some some jobs do provide scholarships for their children for the, the worker's child so ask your parents ask your aunties ask your uncles some jobs do provide scholarships as well oh and also when you are applying for scholarships they will have you write an essay probably a personal statement but most of the time if not all the time they will have the same questions or just ask you for a personal statement so you can just write one general one and then send it to all the colleges if you want to or if you want to put the college's name in that essay please highlight the name so when you put it into another college's scholarship portal you will remember to change it if you want to put the school's name in there which i did do then make sure you change it each time okay please do not forget and send it because they will see it and they will be like no you're not coming to the school because now you're just applying just to apply some colleges will also require you to have a recommendation if not two or three so make sure you give it to the right teacher the right somebody that actually knows you and then have them email it to you so you can just send it out each time whenever so you don't have to keep going to them like i said please make sure that you are sending it to the right person because some teachers actually do not lie on there they will say i do not know this student i don't know why this student gave me this um i only seen them walking down the hallway something like that so send it to a teacher that actually knows you keep your high school resume updated when i say high school resume i'm just saying like each year put what club you were in what sports you played what instrument you played how many volunteer hours what did you volunteer at like stuff like that or what of course what high school you went to and stuff like that so when you start applying for colleges and they ask you what were you participating in and blah blah, blah then you will know oh i participated in this from this month to this month and stuff like that because that will also get you scholarships depending on what you participate in and still if you cannot find any scholarships there are scholarship websites like um scholarships.com i think and fastweb.com if you make an account um, and put all your information in they will send you scholarships that you qualify for based off your major what you're um, involved in what's your ethnicity they have all of that your race so some of them only are like a hundred dollars but they a hundred dollars will add up and if you need some one-on-one -on -one help and your high school counselor is just busy or you know not helpful i've heard that happen before then ask somebody in your family that's in college or that just graduated college ask them to help you out because i'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind because they probably don't want their family member in debt for undergrad degree so please ask your family or maybe friends that are in college or graduated and they will probably help you oh and i didn't even talk about my own college so all porn so if you have a 24 to a 27 on an act and your gpa is 3.0 or above then you'll automatically get your room board and tuition paid for the tuition went up so the scholarship went up to i think 500 dollars for books and if you have a 28 or above on the act and a gpa of 3.0 or higher then you automatically get your tuition room and board paid for 600 dollars for books and then you also get a thousand dollar stipend and lastly if you have a 22 to a 23 on an ATT and if you have a 3.0 GPA and above then you'll get tuition paid for and 
300 for books so if you would like that then you can come to Alcorn State University <laughs> but I believe that I touched on all of my points and I know this was kind of quick and a lot of information but I hope you had your pencil pen and notebook and you also like this video but if you didn't then you can go back you can always rewind it and take out your pencil and paper and write this stuff down and also while you're doing it like and comment if you have any questions you can comment them down below as well or you can also message me dm me on any of my social medias which will be in the description box below and i will be happy to answer as long as you like are kind of straight to the point don't be like hey because i will just look at the message but if you be like hey i have a question about blah blah, blah then i'll be like okay yeah i can help you with that so, I'm a source as well. But yes, you guys, I think that's the end of this video. So, subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time when I make a video. And if you want more videos like this for or high school advice or something like that, give this video a like. You can message me and tell me that you want another video or comment it. I will see it. Trust me. And yeah, you guys. So, I'll see you in the next video.